Hi all, I have another fun, exciting game of Leela Chess to show you today. Ethereal 10.55 against Leela 10940, a very high ID. So this is on a three minute time control, I believe, with two second increments. Uh, I'll put more in the pinned comment of this video for technical details. So E4 from Ethereal. We have Sicilian Defense. This is the book moves given actually to test out. Uh, so we have the Richter Rouser, very sharp variation of the Sicilian to test out here. H6, the last book move, super sharp. Will this favor, favor traditional chess engines or can Leela actually play such sharp positions? Bishop E3 is played. We see Bishop D7, so this is the first move out of book. Bishop D7, this is actually a very popular move, Bishop D7, not trying to do anything with the king side just yet, trying to accelerate queen side operations. F3, B5. So that's made possible because the bishop was supporting the knight. So very elegant, crisp play from Leela so far. We have a3. This might be a slow move. There was a Fisher memorable game. Uh, in Fisher's memorable games, there was a, he sometimes he criticized a3 in one game. Not maybe this position, but it's been a bit slow. Sometimes if this is slow, it can give black an important uh, gain of initiative. The usual book move is to keep things forcing with knight takes. Bishop takes knight e2 to reroute to d4, which is another forcing move. So this centralization is pretty standard. And uh, it's supposed to be giving white a small edge while well, it's going for the exchange of queens there, even. Another idea is king b1. This is also a popular continuation for those theoretically interested. So this position has been seen a lot before. So a3 is slightly unusual. Bishop e7 now committing moving a piece that g4 it looks as though there's a storm already does black really want a castle well either takes on d4 first which at least distracts the bishop away from g5 supporting g5 for a moment queen b8 which supports b4 so all very logical moves so far h4 a welcoming committee for Leela's king it seems uh, after g5 etc so Leela actually doesn't castle immediately a5 so that's made possible again by the bishop move earlier on, supporting b5. Uh, so we have here an alternative just trying to open things here. Doesn't work too well. Knight b1, for example, this position doesn't work too well. It might should be okay. So uh, a5 for the moment. Queen d3. Now b4. Now white's place seems a bit odd. Here, knight b5, uh, b takes a3, knight takes a3. It's now that Leela castles in this position. g5, this looks very scary. Knight h5, Leela is banking on an, an important pawn sacrifice to try and not get torn to shreds. g6, so is this very dangerous still? There is a semi open g file, clearly. Uh, but there is the possibility of king h7 as well to support g6. We have actually bishop h3. Uh, now you might wonder, well I did, about knight f4. If this Is it worth trying to stop knight f4 and e5 here? If we look at this for a moment, if bishop e3, the thing is rook c8 is pretty nifty for black. For example, this position for bishop g4, you might think it's dangerous. Queen b4 though, and here, um, I mean, there's there's a lot of pressure building up here, basically. If here, then, for example, this position, rook b8 to hit b2. And if here, then queen takes b3. It's it's a very, very dangerous position. Any any time the bishop moves, there's, of course, knight f4 coming in again, potentially. Or something else, maybe, as well after that. So... Uh, yeah, b3 here, this this position shows the knight hanging. And black should have sufficient play, threatening bishop b2, checkmate. Uh, so that gave the king d2, that bishop move. This kind of continuation is okay. Black's going to have an advantage. So, okay, so bishop h3. So the mystery kind of maybe explained a little bit why white's allowing this uh, knight f4 in principle. But for the moment, bishop a4 is played. Putting pressure on c2, now bishop g4, now knight f4 with temper. Queen e3, e5 supporting the knight. 
King B1 is played. We see here uh, that maybe in this position, this might be a more accurate try to try and open things up, but black can keep things closed. So it should still be okay for black, but a small advantage maybe for white, technically. So King B1, though, was played. F6, Knight C4, we have Queen C7 hitting that Knight. B3 and the Bishop just goes back to B5. This does seem really awkward now. <laughs> what White's doing? Bishop B6, Queen B8, Queen C3. Yeah, <laughs> Queen C3. Uh, Black actually played here. Leela played King H8 in this position. Uh, that would be check here in any case, taking on c4. There's no way of winning that bishop, it seems. So king h8. But now, this kind of threat is totally ignored, trying to tear black's king to shreds. Lila keeps things closed, she's not too greedy. King safety is highly valued. valued. Bishop e3 is played. On bishop g1, that seems awkward, but... Just for the record, let's have a look at what's going on here. This kind of situation with d5 is dangerous. And then f5, it's really dangerous here. There's things like e4 and bishop f6 on the cards as well. So uh, the bishop drops back e3. That seems to be a sensible place. But now, guess what? Black to play. If I give you five seconds to pause the video, what would you play with black? Yep. Energetic liberating move d5. It opens up the bishop. White tries this rook takes d5, sacking the exchange potentially if it's taken. On knight b6, this is just hopeless. d4, big advantage to black. Uh, e takes d5, then there's still this idea of bishop b4, and then knight e2, massive use of c3 here. This is just very, very nice uh, for black. This kind of scenario, uh, black can even play this instead of rook takes b4. Either is very strong. This is still very strong for black. This scenario is absolutely crushing white. I think uh, so. There's things like rook a4 check there with the knight covering escape squares. So okay, the exchange stack is tried. Bishop b4. Rook takes b5, hitting the queen in return. That's taken. Queen b2, but still there's knight e2 now coming in for that c3 square. Rook h2, knight c3 check, and yeah, the king doesn't want to stay on the a file because there's things like a4, ouch. But here it's also pretty dangerous. After rook f8, threatening mate in one. f4 defends with the bishop. That's just taken though. Bishop drops back. Queen c5, threatened in queen g1. The back row is really weak for white here. Rook g2 defending against queen g1. Uh, just to put that on the board, if bishop takes check, it's just mating. So, uh, so rook g2 defending them, that queen g1 check. But now, nice tactical move. Can you guess? Five seconds. Okay, rook takes d2. Yep, it's crushing. If king takes, then there's knight a4 check winning the queen. And if rook takes, then check the back row is really weak here. Um, well, this, this has actually happened, pardon me. And actually here the game ended. This actually happened. Black to play here has a, a really crushing uh, tactic available. Can you spot it? Test your tactics. There's a really cute tactic here. Knight e2 check is actually crushing. Uh, basically, if rook takes, sorry, if rook takes, then rook d8 is a real killer move here. On rook d2, bishop takes, and then the point is rook takes d2. So if king takes, then there's queen e3 checkmate. <laughs> yeah, this this is a really stunning uh, 
tactical finish just before the game actually ended. Um, Knight e2 check. And uh, you might want to also check out another possibility here. Uh, if on knight e2 check, if king b1, then bishop takes, leaves d1 hanging clearly. And that's all falling to bits. So yeah, the game ended here before knight e2 check was allowed to be played actually. That's a bit unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, both engines basically saw that massive advantage to black. Uh, so Lila getting revenge on the 10.55 ethereal. The uh, author uh, of ethereal is very, very friendly and actually put in form pawns. Now in one of his tests uh, for evolution, he's got an amazing test framework, which he's also prepared to lend to the Leela team, which uh, so is really cool of him. Uh, so, uh, Andrew Grant uh, is a very cool guy, and yeah, I think and he swept his engine swept actually the division up, so it's a, like a double promotion at least. So fantastic achievements from the Ethereal uh, developer this year. Okay, but uh, we have some fun with the Ethereal 10.55 in this gauntlet. I hope you enjoyed this one. Comments, questions, likes, shares, appreciated. Thanks so much.